So, with this being converted over to a right-hand drive several times in its life, the roll bars now on this side, on the right side of the car, and I like that because I grew up shifting gears with my left hand. Uh, you can see some features on things like the roll bar. You'll notice it's very skinny looking. It's inch and three eighths tubing. Um, most modern replicas would start at at least an inch and a half. Uh, yeah, original spec roll bar, inch and three eighths diameter. And you'll notice things like this brace here, which bolt right through to the tubing or the birdcage tubing of the car. And this, this is the long leg of the roll bar. This is the shorter one on the outside. This long leg benefits a lot from having this brace in the middle. Without that brace, you can get hold of the roll bar and you can literally flex it by hand. Uh, we can see typical of competition cars, they slid the batteries behind the seats. Um, this is a full-size battery box and they've upholstered this up, but you can see it's pushing that full seat forward on that side. They've given the driver's seat a little more room on that side because it's right back against the rear and the fender of the car. Looking at some of the other details on the car, it's got things like the uh, Le Mans flip top gas cap. If we take a look underneath this one, you can see it's been set up with, and it doesn't have the Enot stamp on it of course, but this is a modern gas cap and then it has a second cap underneath it because this car is all set up with a 42 gallon spec tank that has been converted to modern specifications with a fuel cell and a bladder inside it.